What is going on, you beautiful people? It's the show here. We are back with another GM rank duel, talking about some win rates. Now, don't look at the number one. That doesn't concern you. And you can tell, I'm pretty sure this was Sam. He just played this game. I could be wrong about that, but it doesn't matter. At the moment, we are looking at some, there's a lot of characters with zero win rate, okay? Zero percent. They have not gotten a win yet in duel. It's not as popular in game mode. That makes sense. But there's one that I cannot stand. This is on rank.casualsmite.com. And... Take a look at all these, but one of them stands out. Nuwa. I freaking love Nuwa, man. Nuwa is at 0% win rate currently in duel. This is ridiculous. 12 games played, zero have won. So I'm going to change that. We're going to jump into a GM rank duel right now, and we're going to see if we can make Nuwa at least get him like, like a one win. That's the plan. Let's see what we can do. All right. So we're jumping into game, and we're up against a Donza Buro. Okay. Let's see what we can do about that. Doesn't seem like a uh, like a fantastic matchup for us, but we'll be able to do something. That much we know. We will figure something out. Hello. Um, I think I am just gonna go the Book of Thought start. I'm a big fan of uh, big damage. And then hmm. the question is, do we want shell? Yeah, we'll get shell early, and then we'll get beads later. I think that's the call. Um, yeah, I don't think we can double buff. Nuwa's clear early on. It's just not the best. We The good news about this start is we can go Breastplate, bre I mean, uh, Book of Thoth, Breastplate, Chronos Pendant, and then just full DPS. And we still have crazy CDR, which is super nice because Nuwa's cooldowns are not the best. I'm going to ward this. Because we can go from our blue to his blue, and I think that's a decent strat. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. That's right, Raid Shadow Legends is sponsoring this video. Let's be honest, guys. Raid has taken over the mobile gaming world. Raid is the first game to bring a true console-level experience to your phone. They've set the bar high, and there is no going back. Today, I'm going to show you guys two of my favorite support and attack characters. Ethos is the king of AoE nukers. He's got two powerful AoE attacks, one that hits super hard and places a weakened debuff, and then one that hits even harder, and it always crits. That's broken. Build this guy with crit and damage, and he'll smash anything in your way. And if your team happens to die, that's where Raglan comes in. It's the best support hero that I like to play. He revives a single target, fills their turn meter, gives them a bit of HP. But the best part, it's got a two turn cooldown, giving her the fastest revive period. I use it pretty much every game. Now we get to talk about what's new in Raid. Right now, Raid is running an in-game promotion for Halloween where you can win some in-game and real life prizes. We're talking $1,000 Amazon gift cards and some of the best epic and legendary champions in Raid. Wanna well, know the best part? It's all free. Just download Raid with my link in the description and then go to trickortree.plarium.com. To make it easy for you, I link that one in the description as well and you can claim all that stuff. Remember, it ends November 5th. And of course, you, you, it's a Raid sponsor. You guys knew there was gonna be more. You can use code DKRISES for a bunch of free items. I'm talking XP Brew Force 50, Force Potion High 15, Arcane Potion High 15, Arcade Potion mid five and 500k silver to instantly level any of your strong champions to level 50. And guys, if you haven't started playing Raid yet, make sure you use my link in the description or scan the QR code on screen now and you're gonna get even more free stuff. I'm talking a free epic champion, Tayrol, 200k silver, one energy refill, one XP boost. It's just so much. And also one uh, ancient shards, so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game. I forgot it because there was just so much. All this treasure is gonna be waiting for you right here in game. Thanks so much to Raid for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to fragging with Nuwa. I think it's a decent strat. Honestly, maybe two points into the minions is just better. I don't want to blow them up though. Blowing them up actually does lose a bit of DPS, I think, on the early minions. He already cleared, Jesus. Can we even get there in time to invade? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. All right, he already used all of his burst, so this should be free. I didn't want to let him double buff, so we're able to take that one away. We can accept that. He's got a chalice, though. I did not hit my, my little minion. I didn't even realize he was still alive. Um, we're not going to put a second point to the minions early on. Our camps are still up, though. I mean, our speed buff, rather, so... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stu stuff the wave. This is smarter. This is smarter. We got blue buff, like our mana will regen naturally. We don't have to pop any potions just yet. I don't think we have to fight a hell pot either. Yeah, we'll be fine. We should be able to grab everything. This is a good start. 
We'll let the minion finish those off while we get some auto attacks. He did hit five, though. So I'm glad the minion's, like, warding for us. Like, making sure he's not running him down looking for a rocket. <laughs> Probably should have popped that mana pot a bit earlier, though. There we go. All right. If I hear that rocket, I'm going to have to pre-ult it. We didn't get beads, obviously, so... Gotta watch out for the chain stun. Pretty sure. Oh man. I was gonna say with the minions. We'll be fine now. We'll put two points into it. Now we got 20 seconds to get back in time for that. We should be just fine. I don't think you can stop my back from there either. I'm going to have so much fun. And again, we got we got blue buff, so we can we can spam a bit. Yeah, he's gonna get the red. Unfortunate. For some reason I thought I was like way faster. Like I had some some beastly mobi mobility, but I clearly do not. Clearly do not. He's not on red. I saw him on those. That's really great. That's really great. Did not want to blow that up. I tried to juke it. I am an idiot. Hey, he's gonna get a fur free. Oh my goodness, he's so bad. I'm better. Sorry, nerd. Really, he's not chasing me, right? He is. Wow. For some reason, he thinks he can fight this. I didn't mean to get hit by that. that sucks. Yeah, he definitely went under tower for a second. Definitely went under tower for a second. That did kind of scare me. He's out of mana though. So. Don't imagine we're going to be getting invaded or anything. I'm just going to back it up. Just that big minion, cool. All right, so we'll get tier one breastplate. Go into a chalice. We did get his Aegis there. We also had to shell. Not the biggest issue in the world. But we've got our Book of Thoth. And like, once we get CDR, man, we're chunking. We are absolutely chunking. Uh. All right, we'll take it. Now we can look to get aggressive. We invaded his blue last time, I forgot. I was like, <laughs> I was like, wait a second. He's on that blue. We invaded it. We were jerks. And it's one thing to invade, like, the first buff, you know? I invaded the second buff. I don't think that's... I mean, that's just like, you gotta watch your back, dog. You're gonna double buff. Like, I'm gonna make sure you can't do that. Kill that. Oh, you're joking me, that miss. One three will do it. Oh, he didn't juke. Darn it. Stayed. Why did he stay? Huh. He's just real confident. I mean, you know you can't leave there. Smart call to dip out, but now I get red. I wonder how many people will miss this. I was wondering if that was him. I wanted to see. Okay. I wanted to see if that was him, man. Like, I, I was like, are you going to check this buff? The good thing about new odds, I can always find him when he's in with my ult, but also it takes so long for me to come back down. Kind of hard to capitalize on that, right? We'll put the point into our ult. I actually do like putting points into my ult. A lot of people ask me that, like, why do you always put points in your ult as new odds? I don't know, man. Think of all the times you could almost get a kill and you don't. You don't have points in your ult. <laughs> We're going to grab ourselves the breastplate. And then we're chunking. Cool. All right, let's get out of here. Full breastplate. Sell this for that. And now we're ready. We don't quite have the pen yet on Book of Thought, but we'll get it. We will get it eventually. Your middle tower is under attack. He's farming well. He's a solid 100 gold behind. I have extra 
but I've been getting like more buffs, so it makes sense that we're ahead. I don't think we can actually yeah, I have to stay. I was gonna say I don't think I can actually just sit by and let the minions get that. Take too long. Cool. That's really good. I love that I can see which one it is as well. Oh my god, I was too drunk. This is not a good fight for him. Let's see, Aegis is. Yeah, he did. Okay, I'm actually just going here. Oh, no! It hits me even in stealth! I thought he was in that, bro! That's so lame. Don's just broken, man. I didn't know it hit me in stealth. I knew it hit everyone else in stealth, but I was hoping not Nuwa. So, I was gonna... The reason I didn't pre-shell that is because I assumed he was gonna be in it, juking around, waiting for the fog to end. But he wasn't. He just let it insta-lock on me because he fucking can. That's so annoying, man. That is so annoying. One of the few things that Nuwa actually excels at, and then just gets ruined by that ability. All right, well... We're behind now. That really sucks. We lost our tower in the process. You sneaking up behind me? Need more CDR before we get aggressive on him. I'm actually so upset about that. I feel like I played this matchup pretty well up until that point. But I should have known, like, I knew that Don's a rocket chase stealth. Darn. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, he's definitely gonna be the first one that shows up, right? Go away, nerd. I thought he could hit me there. I'm not too afraid of fighting this, honestly. He doesn't have Aegis anymore. There's just like no way I'm gonna die. Did you hear that come up? I don't think he heard it come up. That's good. That's good. We missed out on that at the very least. Uh, we definitely want beads. Alright, we got a beads and an Aegis. Will he cross over and try and grab the old buff? Let's see. Does look like it. That's good. I think I have to go speed, honestly. The speed Nuwa. I will not allow my win rate to be tarnished, all right? This Nuwa will get a win. Fun if I can't get a win on Nuwa, then what can I get? I imagine you get full XE here. He's been farming for a while. Ferocious XE. Jesus, bro. Chill out. He got shell as well. Well, that definitely uh, should have hit. Timed it right. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see where he went. I'm gonna make sure we got the timer on him. The heal was enough. Ugh. No reason not to go for this. Yep, I was gonna say, like, there's actually not a single reason why I don't go for that kill. I was behind to the point where it was like, if I don't get something going, we're gonna lose anyway, so. We'll take a free tower! We'll take a free wave. And then we'll take a free red buff. All of which we love to see. Cool. Not gonna be able to pick that up, but it's fine. We'll go right for Obshard. We just have to play around his Aegis, man. He doesn't have any beads, which is huge for us. 
because he doesn't have the beads, we can always hunter to zero him. Or at least, like, chain our cooldowns effectively. And make sure that we got big damage. I'm not too afraid of him at the moment. He doesn't do much damage. Already got that red. I have extra. <laughs> hmm, would he walk this way? No, he's going this way. Not that one or that one. That's good. Did he walk this way? Didn't get it off that well. Kinda wild. Just in case he's back in somewhere. <laughs> Alright, we'll take our shard. We'll take our shard and we'll get out. We're gonna take speed again, I bet. I mean, not I bet, I will. I can just, I can just tell you what so I'm gonna do because it's me. Uh, we gotta get Divine and then probably Polly. I think Divine Polly's the full build here. As much as I'd like to get like a Soul Reaver or anything that can like proc off my ult, it's just not in the cards. Not in the cards. And I actually think Polly's really smart. Don't take too many autos. Let's see which one it is, obviously. Didn't hit me. This is a really good fight for me. Yeah, he's gonna bolt out here. You can't kill him. He has to Aegis. Did it not hit him? Is he immune to that in the freaking rocket? I didn't realize that, man. I knew he was immune to damage, but like, it's new wall. Come on. You're telling me that like, he's immune to that too? That's so annoying. That's fine. All right, well, we got his ult down. Let's try to ambush him somewhere. Okay, okay gotta boot that for sure. Lucky. His ult's gonna be coming back up soon, actually, so I do have to back up a wee bit. I'm gonna back. I'm gonna back, try to get Divine. If he realizes I'm gone, he probably just does my blue. I'm not just in case. Yeah, I was gonna say, I need to make sure that he's not on uh, fire there. What's my ult hit him for? 276, okay. I don't have beats or ult. So I definitely run the risk of getting 100 to 0 by an ult 2 1 combo. And then the chase down after the fact. But this is gonna be good. We got some divine. I'm liking it. We could get Bancroft's Claw here. Now, Bancroft's Claw would help the shit out of our fight. But it's not Polly. Hmm. It actually probably is Bancroft's Claw now that I think about it. Now that I do some more some more brain power, it's probably Bank Bancroft's Claw. It's just really good for some survivability at the end of a build, man. I've been getting consistent red buffs. But I like speed a lot on Nua. Just for juking and also, you know. What's it called? Okay, he can one shot though, something to be weary of. We're actually pretty weak here. I didn't realize how weak I just got. What do you walk around this corner? Look like it. Does he think I'm gone? He does. That's bad. He's just trying to like auto attack me now. That's fine. We've got good sustain here with uh, health pot multi pot, so I'm not too worried. Looks like he wants to go for fire. Yeah, he's going for fire. Okay. We're gonna give that up and just grab red. 
It's like without beads, if he catches me in the jungle, there we lose a lot more than just fire. So I think a smart call. The thing is, though, if he ever does that late game and I have Polly, I just kill him. I mean, I just kill his Phoenix. Whereas, yeah, this is the call. I, I, I think Bancroft's call is the safest bet here. I mean, you've seen how much he's about to, he's able to burst me, you know? If I can stop some of that burst, I can cycle my abilities and we can look to kill him. Alright. The key here is going to be getting that Aegis down early. I want to keep cycling everything so that he's not healing. I was gonna say, like, if he ults me, he ults me. I'm ready. I'm going to have so much fun. I'm gonna get right back. People. And this is a uh, this is about as good of a fight as it's gonna get. I don't want him to back here. Nice. Darn. This is why I wanted Polly, man. I could just get his Phoenix right now, or at least pressure it. At least pressure it. We'll get Claw. We'll get Claw. Perfect. And then we'll start upgrading beads. Upgrading beads is definitely more important than like anything else here. We have full CDR. He went power pot. Okay. He's just gonna be doing more. My issue is if I had a really nice one shot combo and he Aegis it, like my fight is kind of dead. My fight is kind of dead. Got my root ready at least. That's a good start. Hold that. I knew that was gonna do a lot of damage. I don't want to be. I need that root so bad. Chunking him. He's gonna heal off that though. Definitely Aussie procced. I could see him for a bit. I lost him. I thought I went the other way. I can't actually get this, but I can pretend like I can. <laughs> Take that. There we go. All right. Build's done. Now we work on... I guess we could get upgraded breastplate as well. That doesn't hurt me in any way. Don't really care if he does fire. We still don't have that Aegis down though, which really sucks, man. His Aegis is still very much up. Got fire. It is. Huh. Okay. We definitely don't care about that. I think that's way better for me. Getting his ult down is so much better for me. What is he? Good Aegis. Juke that. And now we've got his Aegis down and CDR. Just huge. And again, if he tries to go for my Phoenix, I'll just do this. I actually can't base race him. Yeah, that's dumb. I can't base race him there. I don't care if he gets my Phoenix at this point, but I can't go for his. There's no way. He can have it. I'm winning fights. It's just I can't. I cannot uh, base race him. He's a hunter. And he had my Phoenix down, of course. 
I have beads, though. I really do want to fight him. If the man's on my titan right now, he's on my titan right now. I got his Aegis. This is really good for me. Oh, let's go! I pre-beats for the, uh, the upgraded cooldowns, of course. That might be game. We have minions. 20 seconds. I think that's game. Come on, Nua. Let's get you an up win, Ray, baby. <laughs> get in here, minions. Seven seconds. Get in here. Let's go. We did it. Heck yeah. Let's go, baby. We got the win right on Nuwa. That's what I was looking for. Look at that burst, though, man. When his Aegis was down, 100 to 0. 700, 253, 1529 on my three. Oh, my goodness. That's wild. That's what we were looking for, though. We needed that one shot. Once his Aegis was down, we just had it all in. I pre-shelled, pre-beads, like, give me that cooldown reset and just go for it all. We'll take that dub. And we love to see that. So I hope that you guys did enjoy that one. If you did, definitely leave a like. Subscribe if you are new and drop a comment if you enjoyed. So, Charlie, guys, peace.